Hello survivors and welcome to another Deep Rock Galactic Survivor video. In today's video we are going to do another Hazard 5 run. We are going to be doing it on the engineer this time, the maintenance worker. We are doing a series where we're doing it on every single character, on every single one of their subclasses and we are going in a, a you know anti-clockwise direction so tomorrow will be the gunner. But let's get straight into it with the maintenance worker starting with the LMG turret. Hoping for either plasma or electrical, they're both are very, very good. Plasma will be really good for, you know, bouncing damage and things like that, where electrical will be really good for crit chance. So, depending on what we get, we will go for that. And over there, I might have been better off going for the mining speed. However, uh, I do like to try and upgrade my weapons as quickly as possible, as soon as possible, just for that extra damage. We are going to grab the re uh, fire rate because it doesn't matter if we're electrical or if we are playing with the plasma. The fire rate is going to be extremely strong uh, for both of them. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves the XP gain here. Um, I do struggle to get levels on the engineer even though he gets more XP. It's just because the turrets do land up killing everything quite away from us. Uh, quite some distance and it does make it a little bit harder for us to pick up all that juicy XP that we otherwise would be able to. So there's a little bit of method to the madness. At least if we do it this way we are able to get that little bit more going. And then over here I think if we go for the cold um, yeah, getting a cold drone is actually very clever over here because that's going to be a very defensive one. We do just need the behavior chip uh, to be offensive so that the drones don't circle around us and they're actually going to go and attack the enemies instead. Uh, if we can get that behavior chip as its first overclock, we'll be in a very, very good spot. Okay, now we need to just make sure these guys get hit by the drop pod. Fantastic. And we land up getting squinties. So that means we're going to hope that we can get the electrical upgrade for this. But we are going to grab the reload speed over there. That's actually some really good reload speed. And then the damage over there on that turret is going to be very, very good for us. Oh, that's going to hurt. Okay, it didn't hurt as much as it could have. And then we're going to grab this over here. And then we're going to go mining some more. There's still some gold over here that we didn't collect. Going to grab the reload speed. Reload speed is beautiful on turrets. Actually, every single stat is really good on the turrets. It doesn't matter which stat you grab, they're going to be beneficial. But it just depends on what you need. Like right now, we need damage because we are not doing enough. Right now we also need laugh, unfortunately. Still need like 10 levels to kind of be where we would with any other build that we play with. So I think uh, the start can be really difficult, but once you get going, you should be in a better space. Ow. There's a lot of elites here. Well, red health enemies. I just call them elites because they're harder to kill. Grab the reload speed over there. So we've got electrical or we've got plasma. Uh, like I mentioned before, electrical will be really, really strong. So we are going to actually go for electrical. It's just giving us all those options for the extra crit as well as the extra damage for electrical weapons. So if we go and grab ourselves something now like the stubby SMG or even the electric drone, we would be in a fantastic spot with regards to damage and things like that. So we can it also opens us up to a status chance damage uh, and things like that as well a nice legendary fire rate over there that would have actually been really good on the plasma but uh, we we decided to go electrical this time and show you just how strong it can be and then i'm trying to just get as much of these guys killed as possible again we do want as much xp as possible but as you can see, a very slow start for us. Uh, I think getting the flamethrower turret quite early is actually very, very strong. But we didn't, we weren't lucky enough to get that. So uh, as you can see, we got to kind of just suffer and run around and hope to get as much XP as possible. 
We're gonna make our way back up this way. I can't even stand still to drop turrets. But we're gonna have to just drop them over there for us. And we can grab ourselves the Firefly drone. These are constructs, so they will be really good on the engineer. And we can go from there. We already found out that the Viper drone is extremely good and extremely strong in uh, Hazard 5. But uh, how well will it do in, you know, without the, the Viper drone being the, the weapon of choice? So it will be very, very interesting. We're going to grab more fire rates over there. We can grab the uh, reload speed on drones. That's going to be very good. Uh, grab ourselves some reload speed there for absolutely everything. And as you can see, we are able to get quite a lot of upgrades going because we did manage to get all this juicy XP as well. And we are going to have to make it down to the ship now because we are uh, wasting a lot of time now. Okay, I don't want either of these. The thing with mining directive, although it's very good, we're not planning on mining a lot of walls. So I would have liked plus one to our LMG platform turrets. Uh, we'll just go with turrets explode. I don't want to do the mining on hazard 5 because it can actually be bad for us. It can land up killing us because we won't have anywhere to run and escape to. So I don't really want to grab that. So we're not going to grab it. Uh, pretty much how it works. And uh, we actually got quite a lot of levels over there. So we were struggling to hit level 10 and we landed up walking away at level 24. So very, very good. We get 20% increase. Ah, is that worth it though? It's using gold. So yes, it is worth it. And then uh, we've only got 34. So we're going to go with reload speed over there and nothing else that we can afford. Unfortunately, I would have liked to pick up radius, but that is what it is. All right, straight into the next round. We do run with the gold right here next to us, which is fantastic. All we need now is another weapon that has electrical on it. I'm, I was hoping for the electrical drone, but uh, we'll see what the game gives us. Gonna grab the HP up there as well, just so that we've got it. Can never be too safe, you know, being at full life. Maybe getting quite a bit of status effect damage will be good considering we do do the electrical and we've got the fire damage as well. So it might make a bit of sense to grab some status damage. But we will have to see how that goes for us. Alright, we could grab some plasma. This is a very defensive one, but I'm going to reroll once. And there's the electric Tara. It's not really the one we wanted. We wanted the electric drone, but I don't want to spend too much gold re-rolling. So we'll just take what the game gives us. At least it does have electric now. So we should be all good there. We are going to work on some crit damage now as well. We do have squinties. So we are in a very good spot in terms of what our very first upgrade over there was. So that's really, really good for us. We do have nitro over here, which is very good. And you can see we're doing a lot more damage than we were in the very beginning of the run. At least now things don't really get close to us. Of course, unless I do things like that, then it does. But otherwise, we seem to be in a much better position there. That guy died very, very good. We're going to grab the fire rate over here. That's going to be massive on our weapon. Of course, being able to shoot at insane amounts of speed is going to be beneficial to us beyond imagination. And we can then grab some damage on the fire uh, on the drone over there. Firefly drone was actually very good because it does have the behavior trip, but chip, which makes it attack the uh, enemies a lot better. I do wish all the drones started off that way, uh, or you know maybe you could choose which overclock you wanted for them to, or you know like because they drones and some of them start that way, 
it would be nice to see some of the other drones you know have the option to start like that i guess grab ourselves more xp gain and i'm waiting for the oh yes we need the movement speed considering we lost some from the uh, ammo rig fantastic so much movement i mean so much uh upgrades we're getting over here so over here this is perfect we do get the behavior chip we were looking for so now our cold drones will be attacking all of the enemies which will be really good for us defensively as you can see now uh, we are able to focus on the enemies more and we don't have to really worry defensive wise that is massive the only thing i've done wrong here is i've been running around in circles instead of going and looking for some farming to do so that's the only thing we're not going to have as much natra or uh, gold as we would have liked otherwise but at least we do get all that juicy xp and then we do grab the lmg overload and it's just going to be massive damage coming out now from it i wouldn't mind just putting points into the lmg so that we do get uh, things like more uh, um, more damage for it so if we ever find any damage upgrades we will be taking those including the crit chance upgrades that we're going to be finding and going for as well i think i guess a magnet would have been really good here but unfortunately we couldn't really spend time looking around i did make a mistake in this round we will rectify it next round here's the crit chance uh, for electrical weapons there's more crit chance there and damage on the drone i don't think re-rolling here does much for us we do get damage and a status effect chance uh, as well or damage up there so that's okay pretty decent not too worried about status effect damage but getting one or two upgrades to it it does help with a little bit of damage here and there so it's not necessarily a bad thing but it's not a great thing lots of mushrooms nearby us on landing already got five of them so that's fantastic there's a sixth one here got to look more at the bigger picture though see what's around us in the walls but i'm not seeing anything uh, for us over there we're gonna grab the reload speed actually movement speed there would have been quite good and we can go and grab the gold over here looking more for nitro just for the upgrade in the shops uh, also we could grab something like the uh, nitro powder nitrogenic powder for crit chance but otherwise look how good this um, you know fire rate helps with that our damage it's just insane and this is also why it's very good that we don't have the mining of the walls because otherwise we wouldn't have any walls or you know points to to kind of focus the enemies down if we've destroyed everything around us we land up getting swarmed way too quickly and everything around us you know the the lmgs are very good at attacking a specific direction and doing damage in that direction as you can see i mean look at this beautiful xp we've got all over here for us uh i'm actually gonna grab the status effect damage that's fine we're going to grab the electrical damage, make our way down here, ow, that's right, ow, put some LMGs down over here so everything that is following us can die, we do have some mining to do so we do want them to die. Be nice if you die too, there we go. Thank you so much. We're going to grab the XP gain. Got the drop pod there. Wham, bam. We didn't even need to worry about that. Um, we could go for the pay to win console. We'll grab it. It's only really going to be good over here for when we fight the final boss. Um, when we're doing it over here, it's going to be a waste of gold. But it is what it is. We can't really do much more about that, unfortunately. It's kind of there. But you can just see how much damage that 100% that extra damage does. So getting ourselves more damage onto the weapons are going to be really, really good. Damage for electrical. I am looking for the crit chance for electrical more than the damage, but that's alright. 
A nice 50% increased damage on our fire drone. That's beautiful. We do have a magnet over here, finally. That is really, really good for us. Grab the crit chance. I didn't see the crit damage there. Sorry, guys. I would have grabbed it. And then do we get more damage? Yes, we do. Do we get plus one to extra drones? We grab the mining speed. And we're just looking for one more mushroom, which is just over here. And that's going to give us the extra gold we need for while we go through. Just murder all of those guys. There we go. And at least we do have 50 gold to spend. Uh, that's, yeah, we're going to have to focus on Natra now more than gold. Going to grab the pickup radius and the XP gain. And let's go out looking for Natra because that's the only way we're going to get what we need. Of course, we do need the gold for the pay to win console. But now because we have it, we are not going to be able to use all the gold uh, in the shop. I don't know how we're going to do this with the boss. I guess it makes everything else a lot easier because as long as we have gold, we will be completely, utterly destroying everything around us. Oh, that damage is just so good. Could have been a mistake, but... Now is when we wish we had a gold scanner and the turret, the wall destroying turrets, but uh, we didn't get the gold scanners either as options, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference, really. Lots of damage happening over there. We are going to just go with damage upgrades for everything. We have more than enough fire rate on our LMGs to not have to worry about anything else. The damage upgrades you can see, even without pay to win console, if we just grab damage, it's going to be insanely good for us. So we're going to try and do that. However, we need more crit chance. However, besides for needing more crit chance, we also need to find Natra. Which, as you can see, there isn't any around here. Okay, we're going to go with the crit chance. Oh, no, we need the crit damage as well. I'm sorry. We need both. We need both. Doesn't help just grabbing one. Okay, we can grab the laugh over here. I'm hoping we are lucky. Oh, there's some nitro. Thank you so much. And the supply pod is below us, so we will go and grab that as well. Maybe we can get ourselves the uh, nitrogenic powder. Go and kill that guy. Make our way down. Do you know what would make these things, the, uh, the LMG turrets, even stronger, like even more ridiculously overpowered? would be is we, if we could get piercing on them. Imagine if you could have a piercing LMG turret. That would be completely disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna grab the Natra here first, just because it's here. Please don't be any flying ones. We got a kind of... Uh, we already killed the one elite, I think. Okay, grab the crit chance. That's fine. What do I need to destroy here? There we go. Grab the max HP, because <laughs> we need HP right now. And that's going to drop on... I uh, didn't even get the chance to drop on his head. Uh, I think we're going to have to go with the HP and the laugh regen over here. That's just going to keep us alive for longer. We've got all this juicy XP over here. We're going to go and collect. There was more Natra down this way. Grabbing the... Uh, oh, there's gold over here. Actually, we picked up all the Natra already. Sorry. Ooh, so much juicy XP. We need to make our way back to the drop pod, though. I don't know if we're going to make it. Ah, no, we do make it. It would have been nice to have picked up a uh, magnet, but there wasn't one around us. 
All right, level 56. Uh, we don't have gold to spend over here, unfortunately, but we do have nitro to spend, so we can go for the damage. We can go for the reload speed. Do we get something else? Yes, we do. We get more damage over there. So we need what two more levels on the fire uh, on the cryo drone, which is actually very good for us because that means that we will have more damage on it. We're going to get more drones, which means there's going to be more freezing occurring, which will be very, very good over there. I wonder which is, uh, I'm, I'm sure that the, the LMG turret's what's doing the most amount of damage, but it would be very interesting to know if it is actually doing the most amount of damage or not. But let's just go over here. You can see it dealing huge amounts of damage to these enemies. And the fact that the fire rate is just so high, it's devastating. And we did have a little bit of gold over there as well. So we were able to completely decimate the opponent or the enemy, whatever you want to call it. However, we do have to go and find more gold. Hopefully there's a bit of gold around the boss. We'll keep it up there if possible. We don't want to kill everything too quickly either because otherwise we will end up spawning everything too quickly um, in the final round at least, uh, which we don't really want. Okay, we do have uh, some uh, lots of XP, some lots of XP around us. We're going to just pick it all up. There is gold over there, so we can just keep it for the final fight. We don't want to pick it up too early. Again, otherwise we're not going to have any gold around us. And then when we do fight the final boss, we're going to be in a very bad position for that. But you can see the drones, um, when they do attack the enemies, although they are supposed to have the behavior trip to be aggressive, but it doesn't look like they're doing it too well. So that's a bit of a problem there. Drop down all of these. We get the damage on the LMG turret, which is fine, but we wanted it on the drone. It is what it is. We have five, six. Oof, that's so many. That, that's a lot of damage coming out from these these drones over here. All right, so our supply pod is at the top over here. We just don't want nitrogen, I mean the nitro, pickled nitro. If we can get the nitrogenic powder, that will be massive uh, for our crit chance. I think we're already on a really good crit chance. So if we do get ourselves the nitrogenic powder, it's gonna be massive for us. And then if we do get another level and we maybe get like a legendary crit damage that would be the most insane thing for us right now but uh, that's all up to lady luck uh gold tip bullets aren't gonna help us i don't think our movement speed is high enough for this either so we are gonna have to grab oh, man i really want to do this uh, i'm doing it let's do it guys ladies and gentlemen our death yeah i think we've got enough damage to do it we should have enough movement speed maybe we can level up one more time and hope and pray for movement speed if we do get a little bit of movement speed we will be better but i think we've got enough movement speed there we just mustn't pick up more uh nitro give me some movement speed nope no movement speed there but we do get more damage Okay, there's a nice one. Oh, I really want to pick up that Nitro, but if I pick up that Nitro, we will be in a very, very bad spot. So I don't want to do it. Uh, we are going to go and actually let's grab the, the gold very soon because it does look like he is going to be spawning very, very soon. So open up this area as well. And let's go pick up all this gold now. So we've got 30 seconds to beat him. Oh, we got hit. No, that is not good. We cannot get hit. Uh, we don't have the damage anymore. I don't think the arm is going to save us anymore. Okay, just move to the side. Yes, we wrecked his face. Beautiful. Okay, the pickle natural is definitely a good choice over there. Fantastic. 
and that went really really well for us so very very good i hope you guys enjoyed the video we managed to make it through i don't know how but we did uh, it was fantastic i hope you guys enjoyed the video please remember to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future and always remember keep safe survivors until next time cheers